Esme and um, for today's video is another challenge Esme and today I'm trying mounted games for the first time in six years because six years ago believe it or not Mickey used to be a games pony we used to do mounted games together and we actually did a few competitions and things we were always not too bad because we would be slow and steady wins the race so we wouldn't usually drop any of the equipment because we do it a little bit slower but we'd get everything done so um, anyway I'm very excited to try it out again so I went and visited Sadie Lock where I got to ride some of her games ponies. Hey, Scratchies, Scratchies, oh my goodness, look at that face, <laughs> Scratchies, <laughs> Mickey, you're so strange, I love you, <laughs> yes. Now to games. <laughs> now she wants to be friends. Come on. Hi! Hi! How are you? Good, thank you. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful spot you have Thank here. you, yes, we're very lucky. It's so cool, they live in the woods. Yep, literally in the woods. <laughs> so what soil do you have here? Because, oh my gosh, my place is just covered in mud at the moment. Uh, here we are on black sand, oh, which wow. is great in the winter because mud yeah, isn't really existent. so lucky. <laughs> but with grey ponies in the summer, it's a disaster. Oh yeah, I feel you with my greys. <laughs> but no, we're very, very lucky in terms of uh, winter turnouts and stuff like that. So who's this? So here we have Macy. She's um, actually in foal currently, oh, which wow. is very exciting. <laughs> and then this one here is April. Oh, they're she's, so um, cute. She's fairly new to me. We got her in uh, a bit of a lockdown project. Oh. <laughs> so um, yeah, she's seven, so she's a bit younger than the others. But no, they're lovely. <laughs> so we're doing some games today. Yeah, so today we're going to try out a bit of mounted games. Uh, two other ponies for you that we're going to go ride. Yep. It should be very exciting. <laughs> oh, for me, it's been about five, six years since I last did games. I used to do games on my pony Mickey, yep. but now he's retired. So it's been a little while. Today was supposed to be sort of like a challenge as me, but um, it has been a while. So it's got a bit of a head start. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a head start. Well, I can but take yeah. you up to meet the two that you're riding if you like. Oh, that would be brilliant. Yeah. Cool. See you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll bring Em as well. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Sadie, tell me a little bit more about who we have here. So here we have Nessa. Oh. And Nessa is my main pony. I've mm -hmm. had her about four years now. Yeah. Well, we've done four seasons on her. She's a bit of a mix, I say, Aww. Arab, Connemara. Yeah. Give or take a bit. She comes from Ireland originally, but no, she's an absolute superstar Aww. and uh, yeah, no, she's amazing. <laughs> and then M here. And behind Emily. us, this is M. Yeah, M. We've had a little bit longer, maybe five years. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually trained her to do games with my sister, and she's turned into a bit of a bit of a superstar, actually. Aww. Yeah, no, we're really pleased how she's come along, and she won't be going anywhere. Oh, <laughs> so you had a really successful year last year. Tell me a bit more about that. Yeah, last year was really, really good. Um, I got selected. Uh, to ride for England at the European teams um, and the World Team Championships. We travelled to Europeans in Ireland mm -hmm. where um, I was actually selected on Nessa but sadly couldn't ride her. So myself and Em actually ended up winning which is an amazing oh, wow. achievement for Em. I was so happy with that. And then the following week we went to Wales uh, for the World Team Championships and with my Team England we became World Team Champions which is wow. something that I've never won before so that was a a really good success and then the week later um, we went to the Royal Welsh show mm -hmm. and um, with the same England team with I think two other two different riders as the week before and we won as Team England there as well wow. so it was an amazing three weeks which yeah really was a dream come true then we had a couple weeks rest and then Nessa and I became reserve world individual champions and were the highest place girls so oh. Yeah, That's so cool. An amazing year, really. Yeah, <laughs> much better than this year. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we're we gonna try some games on them. Today? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So between us, we're gonna ride these two, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, see how it goes. Cool. Should we get them tacked up? Yeah, there? absolutely. Brill. Aww. He's so cute. <laughs> and I've gotten over the camera now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are in the arena. Um, we're gonna. I thought we could get the equipment ready, yep. set up some bending poles and then come in and you can have a bit of a play around through mm -hmm. the poles, do some mugs and hopefully refresh your memory yes, from all those years ago. Years. <laughs> but now I'm very excited. No, so. and we've got quite a few games today that I thought we could have a little play through. Yeah. 
So if you go set up the poles over there and I'll set up these ones and then we'll Brilliant. get going. Let's go. Cool. I can never get a straight line either. No. <laughs> okay, maybe just move your um, like very top pole yep. over to the left. Yeah, that'll be all right. <laughs> So here we are in the tack room, yep. this is all the bridles and the saddles and everything that we need um, and we'll grab Em and Ness's tack and get them ready. Is Mounted Games tack a little bit different to usual? Or um, I'd say it's fairly similar mm -hmm. in uh, most respects. Uh, we're only allowed snaffle bits, like various different snaffles and I'd say the biggest difference is the reins. Yeah. Usually most people use rubber reins or something like that but for us we knock the reins so we've mm -hmm. got um, a bit more control yes and yes. rubber reins don't knock that easily no. so we use kind of plaited reins yeah some people do use other ones but for me my preference is these plaited mm -hmm. reins and then i say the only difference is i use a breastplate yeah. um, not because the saddle moves but because i hold it when i'm vaulting yeah a little bit of extra security yes. <laughs> um but no other than that i say it's fairly fairly similar cool I really hope Joey goes this colour when he wipes out. You're so pretty. You've got a little pine needle. You've got a little pine needle in your mane. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Oh. No, they're a bit easier to keep clean when they're dark. <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> Especially the tail. Yes. <laughs> That's the only bit I'd have back. <laughs> oh. Though sadly, Joey's tail is already pretty much is it? yellow now. <laughs> No, she's um, the uh, Macy, the little grey down the mm -hmm. field. She um, was really steel grey when I got her, oh, completely wow. steel grey, and she was seven. So I thought, oh, this is here to stay. Yeah. Nope. I was fooled. Oh. <laughs> so I'm sure you feel the same, but I'm very lucky to be sponsored by Voltaire. Mm -hmm. It's a, a massive privilege. But the, the saddles are so great for games in terms like they've got a low cantle, mm -hmm. which is great for us getting on and off. Yes. And um, like the knee rolls and everything, I feel so secure in it. Obviously, we lean down quite a lot. Yes. So I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to be Slide slipping off. down the side. No. And I just know that in this, I can lean down at whatever speed mm -hmm. and it's not moving anywhere. Like it's oh. so secure on Nessa. And Nessa feels so comfortable and free in it. Oh, she really so does. Good find a few more gears in it. Yes. No, because I haven't vaulted for a few years, so I'm quite excited to have another little go. Yes, but I might sure. be a bit rusty. Nope, you'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> you don't forget things like that. I say no. it's like riding a bike. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to start by having a go on both and seeing which one you prefer? Yeah, that'd be They're great. They're very, very different. Mm -hmm. uh, M is very kind of flat um, and a bit, not lazier, but when you get on Nessa, she's very responsive and yes. very upright and mm -hmm. on her toes. So yes. I won't be offended if you don't like one, both, but you've got to ride one of them. So cool. <laughs> yeah, you uh, choose. I'll start on M Start first. on M, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> All right, so here I am on M the Chestnut and Sadie is on Nessa the Grey and we just started off walking round. I had a little bit of a feel of what M was like. Then of course we warmed up so I had a little trot around and it felt so different, especially compared to Joey because of course Em is a lot smaller and a pony and I forgot how bouncy smaller ponies are because I haven't ridden Mickey for a couple of years because he's retired. So, oh my goodness, I was just smiling the whole way round from start to finish because ponies are just so much fun to ride I forgot how fun they were so we had a little bit of a cant around had a little feel with her over time I got a little bit more used to her small little bouncy strides I was just smiling the whole time guys so anyway here Sadie is showing me um, what I need to do up at the top so a nice tight turn round and then back down to the start again looks nice and easy looks nice and simple so here was my go on M it all started pretty well and I was like, okay, I'm going to slow down, go around and bam. I don't know what was happening, but I, you know, decided to mow down one of the, like, bending poles. Anyway, second time. Let's do this. Let's do it properly. Round we go. Okay, nice and wide. Nice and... Oh, we've knocked it over again. Okay, can we do it? Third time lucky. 
And yes, we finally managed to do it. I think it's because I just got so excited about cantering home really fast. I just wasn't paying too much attention to the turn. So then we were doing some bending and Sadie was really showing us how it's done. Look how tight she went around that bending pole. Oh my goodness, how is that possible? However, she did knock a pole, so it goes to show it's not just me, guys. Anyway, then it was my turn to do some bending around the pole. And yes, we didn't knock it over this time a little bit wonky on the way home but we managed to get there and we didn't knock any poles down so we're improving we're getting better guys okay so now it was time for em and i to try mug and mug actually used to be one of my favorite games however um on the way up there in trot it was all going ever so well on the way home i thought you know what we're doing quite well we'll have a go at cantering so um picked it up nicely um kind of just threw it on the ground knocked over a pole and knocked over the second one because I think we went maybe just a little bit too fast, Go. a little bit too far. So now um, Sadie and I had a race, so I decided, yep, okay, I knocked it down. So let's not pay attention to me. Let's look at Sadie, see what she's doing. Oh, no, what it, What am I doing? Where, where, Where's the mug? Is it on the floor? Oh, didn't even pick that one up. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know what's happening here, but all I can say is um, I made a bit of an embarrassment of myself. <laughs> So I had another go, this time in trot, nice and steady. Oh, and I've dropped it again. I think my problem was I was putting the mugs down way too violently. I'd kind of smash them on top of the pole and then it'll bounce off. But here, I, I just dropped it. I just gave up and I dropped it. Anyway, on the way back, we can do this, pick it up. Put it down and bam, even in canter. Okay, it was a little bit wobbly because, again, I'm a bit violent with the equipment. I need to stop slamming it down and put it down a little bit more gently. So anyway, here I've swapped on to Nessa and uh, um, she's a little bit more calm. So we were doing well, we're doing well, nicely in trot. I'm not bouncing the mug off the post, we're doing well. Okay, round the corner, round the corner, nicely do it. Okay, cantering back, can she do it in canter? Oh, oh, no, no, it bounced off. Oh, can we do the last one? Yay! <laughs> Next was flag and I think overall from the day this was probably one of my favorites Just because I found it quite easy. I got it quite quickly So you have to put it down in the cone canter back well canter if you want to I obviously wanted to go very fast on this particular day and then pick another one up on the way back And then I passed on to Sadie where I probably could have gone a bit slower going towards her and M. Sorry M. So here is Sadie again showing us how it's done Look how tight she's doing those turns, how fast she's going, and then she picks up the last one. Bam. Just wow. Okay, now it's my turn. So I did this as an individual, so I did it on my own. So I went up with my white flag, gave myself a little bit of room to go round, put it in, canter back. Now it was time to pick up my flag on the way there, one-handed. There we go. Go over the line, and then I had to turn around, come back again. So here we go cantering along and then I have to put the flag back in the cone again so nice and slow canter back into trot to put it in and then bam we were on our way home cantering way but first picking up the blue flag and we're done so you can see guys I did improve a little bit over the day the next piece of equipment we were using were these tubs where you have to pick them up um, go round and then on your way back home you have to place them on top of the barrel now picking them up was nice and easy you know you could just grab them the thing I found difficult was placing them because especially if you're going a bit too fast like myself then um, they did kind of slide around a bit like that is just so wonky as me what are you doing all right so I'm now riding Nessa and with me here I actually have a sword which is quite exciting I think I'm vaguely remember doing this on mickey but it's been so long but i think i have a lot of different targets that i kind of need to scoop up with my sword so we'll see how it goes <laughs> good girl 
Okay, I lied. I think Sword was probably one of my favourites. Ignore the one that's just pinged off onto the ground. And also the one that's rolling on the ground there. But it was so fun to go so fast. And it was so satisfying when you would pick up the targets. And it just felt incredible, especially if you managed to get the sword straight. It was a lot easier to get the other ones because it's like dead straight along a line. So here you can see Sadie in action and oh my goodness. How satisfying is that to watch? Wow. Okay, so next Sadie was showing me how to vault. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a good couple of years since I've last vaulted. So here she's showing maybe in some races where you have to pick up equipment, where you have to get off. She's running along and then she does this incredible bounce where she bounces with both her feet on the ground. Bam. And then she lifts both of her legs up in the air and lands on top. Like how impressive is that so um can't quite say i was the same um i managed to get off and then i kind of struggled to get a good speed um with nessa to get back on we were either going too fast too slow had another little go in a straight line and um yeah it didn't really work out so sadie very kindly gave me some help there we go i'm on yay i had another little go vaulting off i found easy getting back on and getting that speed and the momentum it, it was a little bit more difficult but we got there we got there next was bottle and sadie challenged me to a race so let's go Alright, alright, I might have taken my time, but anyway, here is some really awesome slow-mo clips of Sadie showing us how it's done. All right, Sadie, thank you so much for inviting me here today and letting me ride your gorgeous ponies and also having a go at Mountain Games too. It's been so much fun. You are more than welcome. It's been lovely having you. And thank you so Aww. much for coming. Oh, no I worries. really enjoyed it and you were so good. I was so Aww, impressed. Thank you. Did you have a favorite pony or oh, one you They were both so much fun. I loved Emily's speed, but there's something <laughs> about Nessa. She's just oh, so lovely. She is very, very special and that's Aww. why we love her and why she's so good at what she is because she's just, the most precious little angel. Oh, so if people want to have a go at Mounted Games, where do you recommend they go to? Um, the best place I would say is the Mounted Games website, mm -hmm. um, mgagb.co.uk. It kind of shows you or tells you everything there is to know about games, who to contact if you're interested, and kind of what it involves. Brilliant. Um, so I'll also leave that in the link below and also Sadie's Instagram too, so if you'd like to check that out. So thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>